there's a terrific backblast of flame when the rockets fire. Watch what it does to that white sheet. Get the idea? Rule number one. Keep away from the rear of the launcher. There are four firing positions. The standing position is about the same as the standing position with a rifle. The gunner is half face to the right, with his feet from one to two feet apart, body erect, and well balanced. The left arm is extended, with the left hand grasping the front hand grip, the right hand grasping the rear hand grip. The loader takes a position facing the firer's right shoulder and close enough to load rapidly and easily. In this position, you traverse by moving the body from the ankles up. While the gunner is tracking, the loader must keep away from the rear of the launcher. Other firing positions are prone, sitting, and kneeling. In the prone position, the spine is straight, the legs close together. The body must be kept at an angle of not less than 45 degrees to the line of aim. If it isn't, you're likely to get a hot foot or something worse from the back blast. The elbow should be well under the launcher, the left hand on the front hand grip, the right hand on the rear hand grip, and the stock placed firmly against the shoulder. The loader gets flat on the ground, resting on both elbows and at right angles to the line of aim. The loader should be opposite the firer's right shoulder and close enough to do his job. It is especially important when tracking a target that you remember to keep your body 45 degrees away from the bazooka's line of aim. The loader must move with the gunner not only to avoid burns, but to be able to serve the piece. In the sitting position, the gunner faces half right from the target with his legs crossed. He leans slightly forward from the hip with his back straight. The left arm is extended, and the right elbow is up to form a pocket for the stock. Neither elbow should be rested. The launcher is held as in the standing position. The loader sits opposite the gunner's right shoulder at right angles to the line of aim. His legs are crossed right over left, and he is close enough to the gunner to do his job without strain. The firer can traverse about 90 degrees without changing his position. The kneeling position is similar to the anti-aircraft position with the rifle. The firer kneels on his right knee with the buttocks well up and away from the right heel. The left foot is pointed at right angles to and opposite the right knee. The lower part of the left leg is perpendicular. The body is held erect. The loader kneels with one or both knees on the ground and faces the gunner's right shoulder. Traversing is done by moving the body from the waist up. With very little practice, you should be able to traverse 180 degrees. While tracking, the loader moves with the firer. 